default to Ireland will today call for the country to reopen to overseas tourists as soon and as fast as public health considerations can allow. Meanwhile, Irish people who have paid for a holiday are being encouraged not to travel with jobs at stake and no sign of compensation for uh, consumers. What's the story? Well, Owen Curry, editor of Air and Travel magazine, is on the line. Hi, Owen. How are you? Good morning, Jen, and thank you for that valuable piece of life advice. Never date a Kardashian. There we go. Yeah, it will ruin you. It will absolutely ruin you. <laughs> I've uh, written it down. I've written it down. <laughs> you're very welcome. Uh, so you're, you're very welcome back to the show. Uh, this saga has been going on for nearly a week now. Let's start with the chief medical officer. What exactly did he say last Friday? He said last Friday that um, people should not travel. He also said that people who had booked holidays should cancel bookings. This is, uh, became hugely significant really because of the absence of any official government guidance or policy on this, Jen. And if we were to, you know, nobble all our confusion and put it all down into one phrase, that's it. The government policy is not changed. It's back where it was in March. All but essential travel to the rest of the world. Uh, it's not prohibited, but it's advised against. Big implications for insurance. That's really as far as it goes. Flights can come and go as normal, and they have been.